What's up guys, this is Chronic Rush HD and welcome to episode 11 of my FIFA 13 Ultimate Team Road to Gold Around the World series. As you can see there, we just relist some of other players, add some contracts and some other players are quite low on um, fitness. So we go and swap them around, get some fitness back up on the team. We also go and have a look at um, the uh, O'Connor to get him in the right formation. But guys, we have recently just won Division uh, 3, I believe. So that now gives us time to go and play the Cup, the Bronze Cup. And we're going to see how well we do on that. And then I'll move on to the Empower League 1, which would be pretty nice to have some change in players. And this team's not a bad team. Um, the I really, really like the attack. Joel Grant has got to be my favourite player of this team. And then it's got to go Nardillo. He's a really, really nice striker. But... As you can see there, I think Bashira has uh, quite low on chemistry, so we put Brown back in. But I decided he wasn't up to the job in the cup, so we go and have a look at a new left back to uh, rotate. And we see this player called Straker. Uh, I've used him before, and he cost me 500 coins in the right formation. And he was the only one at that time. He's got 80 pace, I believe. A very, very similar player to uh, Bashira, but we go into the cup game. Uh, I then realised that I need to swap Joel Grant for Pitman, and then I can go. A Pitman's a really, really nice uh, left wing USA Oxford United player. We go into this game, and he's got a really, really nice uh, bronze uh, Brazilian team with Lucas Piazon, who he kind of showboats off at the beginning by doing a load of tricks. And I just got really annoyed and was just trying to follow him, which I should have just stayed still and seen if I could court catch him off guard, but. A very, very nice goal there from Lucas Piazon. Plays for Malaga in the Liga BVA now, recently on loan from Chelsea. So we then pick the ball up, a lovely tackle there from defence, pass it up to the field to O'Connor, who shrugs off the uh, opposition. A through ball into Pittman, and Pittman is going to score that. That is a lovely, lovely finish there in the 30th minute to make it 1-0. He is a fabulous player, Pittman. Very pacey, got a nice shot on him and skillful. But Bennett picks up a lovely tackle there. Um, and pass it into Nardillo, who's going to unluckily there not get finished, but Stevens is there to put into the rebound to make it 2-1 in the 56th minute. Um, a lovely, lovely save by, I am think it may be hit, hit, uh, my keeper, sorry, and he's going to um, get a corner, he's going to cross that in by Lucas Piazon. Um, unlucky there to not get the header, but lovely save from the keeper. I don't know why he's trying to shoot from there, but he gets another corner, and he does this weird, um, uh, I'm not sure what it's called, custom corners. But somehow, Wellington Silver gets his head onto that. I don't think I was defending that very, very well. I don't know how to defend them, but that makes it 2 all in the 17th minute. And I was quite annoyed about that goal. But in the 80th minute, a really, really poor throw in by me. Uh, passes it, and he threw balls that into Lucas Piazza. And he's just going to outpace my centre-backs. Cut inside, and that is an easy, easy goal for him. To make it to 3-2 in the 83rd minute. Uh, which is kind of annoying. I kick it out. And uh, this is 90th minute. And the game. That's all the game wrote. 3-2. Pretty annoying to lose in the 83rd minute. This guy had a very nice team. He wasn't the best player. He did seem to dominate me. It might show in the uh, match details. But we got knocked out in the first round. Meaning the rest of this episode is going to be me buying the Empower League 1 team. We're getting more and more coins now, and I'll show up the match detail. Or maybe I forgot, but we advance. So that is all I'm going to be doing with the Empower League 2 team. As you can see here, I'm, I'm, not, thinking, I'm not going to delete them at the moment. I'm going to wait for more feedback um, because I'm, I'm not sure if I should keep them and then or sell them and use the coins to make a better team for the leagues, but I create a new team calling it N Power League One. And I'm gonna be using I, I took some time to decide what formation to use. And I eventually was I was looking on um, the ultimate team D B and uh, Foothead to see who are the best players in this league. And I saw that it was a centre forward called Zuku who um, and I pretty much just wanted to go and use the four one four four one one I was thinking of using that, but then decided that I wanted to use um, the right mid and left mid. They're decent right mid and left mid players. So at first, you can see that I may um, start new, trying to find players in the 4-3-1-2. But as you see, I pick up a goalkeeper in the 4-4-1-1. Finder's a very, very nice keeper. I bought him for cheap as well. So that hit, the formation I bought him in influences the formation I use. 
I then go and have a look at some centre backs, and um, there's some quite pacey centre backs uh, like this one guy called M. Boto plays for Oldham, but he cost an absolute fortune, which I didn't have enough coins. Also, there's this player called I'm not going to try and pronounce that name, but he again cost cost an absolute fortune. So um, I was looking on for other players which I could uh, fill in the centre back spots. I then go and decide to, uh, I think I eventually decide to change it into the 4-4-1, which still allows me to use the centre forward. And I go and have a look at what um, centre backs I can get. As you can see there, there's some slowish ones, uh, but there is some pacey ones as well. I eventually go and decide on a centre back. I'm currently looking, like I've said so many times, at foothead. I see this player called Hector. He's got a decent amount of pace and for 750 coins, not a bad buy. He's got 61 heading, 61 defending and 73 pace. I then go and pick up another centre-back called Smith. Uh, he's got 71 pace, 60 defending and 70-something heading. So very, very good heading header of the ball, meaning we've got a very, very nice defence. Um, we now go and have a look at the right-back and we see this uh, Portsmouth player in the 4-4-1. I'll go and see if I can get him for cheaper in any of the other formations. And as you can see, I can pick him up for 200 coins in a 4-5-1, meaning he's still going to get some chemistry, but he's not in the right formation. But I can pick that up later when the prices are, there's going to be different prices. I then go and have a look at uh, some more uh, left backs. I see this player called Daniels, who I'll pick up for 550 coins in the right formation. I was Later, I... Um, um, in the upcoming episodes, I go and have a look because he gets long fitness. I go and have a look to see if I can get uh, replace him, but he is actually quite a big player and um, a costly player. So I actually got him for quite a big bargain there. But as you can see here, I'm looking for the first silver player of this um, series. His name is Pew. He plays for Bournemouth. He's got very, very nice stats. Uh, the only problem I found is he runs out of fitness rather quickly, but he's still not a bad player. I then go having a look for a left mid. I realised I was searching the silver, so I change it to bronze, and I find a player called Barcham. I pick him up, um, I put him on the uh, uh, watch list. I see if I can find any more. This player called Mike Jones is also another very similar player, but I haven't actually used him, so I decide to go and buy this Barcham. He's actually a very, very nice player. 86 pace, very, very pacey player. I'm not sure if he's got four-star skill moves, or I might be making that up, but... He's a very skillful player as well. But I now move on to picking up my centre mids. I see this player called Moscherino. I've used him in a um, career mode I've played ages ago. I, I didn't record it, but I, I got loaned to Preston, and he seemed to be quite a good player. But um, So I see I saw if I could uh, pick him out, but he's actually very, very expensive. I saw this player called Woods, the Scottish man. Um, he plays for Doncaster, I believe, and he's got decent stats. Not bad stats whatsoever, but I see one for 200 coins. Uh, he's in the 4-3-3, meaning I could sell him on for a bit more later of a date, but I put him in the team. Uh, we need some centre mids, but I'm now going to have a look at another one. Uh, there was one called Coke, who I've used in many of a time, who's really, really good player, but he again goes for quite a lot of coins, and I still need to get a striker, a centre forward, and another centre mid with... 4,000 odd coins, which is going to be pretty hard to pick this player Coke up. As you can see there, he's very, very expensive. But I'll go and have a look at some centre forwards I can get. I was just seeing if there was any better bronze ones. Got. I go and pick up this uh, silver. I eventually pick up a silver Ivory Coast player, centre forward. He's called um, Zuku. And as you can see, I was, I was trying to see if I could get the silver striker. But as you can see, I've eventually pick up this player called Zuku for 750 coins he actually is a really really nice player and links up perfectly with the striker as you can see I'm looking for um, some silver strikers because I think they're going to be better than the gold ones I put a 150 coin bid on Murphy who got a transferred to the Empower League one from the Scottish League I believe but I ha then go and have a look at some more centre mids as time had passed see if there's any better deals I then go and have a look at the another got Doncaster player called um, Sayers. I'm not sure if I pick him up uh, straight away, but I do eventually pick him up. I'm not quite sure for how many coins, but I also look at the silver ones. And as you see, there are not many other ones other than Jimmy Bullard, who's extremely slow. So I didn't really want to pick up a slow player, which I, I don't really like the slow players. They don't, they don't seem beneficial 
Um, they just seem to be really, really sluggish and just not get the ball at all. But I um, eventually uh, have a look at my squad, see how it's doing, and still keep looking for this sh stupid centre mid because there's so many. I, I Also, I don't really like um, non-shiny cards. Even if they're better, I normally go for the shiny card. I don't know why. It just seems to be more... It, it, it makes the um, squad look better. And But I eventually decide on a centre mid. Um, I'm not sure how long until I do. But as you can see, it's just flying past. But I do eventually go and pick up this player, like I've said, called Sayers. I'm not sure for how much. I think it is for 600... Uh, no, sorry, 250 in the 3-5-2, um, he's not the best formation, but for 250 coins uh, with enough contract, I could probably make the coins back and wait for see if I can get him in the 4-4-1-1. I now go and look for a striker, and I see this player called Massey. He plays for Colchester, I believe. 83 pace, 58 shots, 62 um, dribbling. A very, very nice player, and I put him up front, and that is the team now done, guys. As you can see, a 93 chem with... Two, three players out of formation, two players not liking the formation whatsoever, Sayers and Woods. But I then go and fill the squad up with the players of my Empower League 2 squad. Just because if I do eventually go back to the Empower League 2 squad, I can um, make sure they are full on fitness. As you see, I rotate the squad bench around just to make sure I've got every single player um, on my Empower League 2 team. Just to make sure their fitness is up to date and that they are going to, maybe if I do use them again, I, I can just straight away use them, don't have to pay for fitness cards. But I go into the first game with this team, I come up against a guy called Conrad Rovers, who, um if it, I don't know why, it just didn't want to work. I, it did play, sorry, but it the game eventually just randomly cut out. I, it was laggy through the whole game, but at 1 minute 56, I don't know if he rage quitted or something, I, I think the game just ended, I didn't get any points, I didn't get any um on my card either so I don't think it was anything to do with either of us but we go an, into another game and called a guy called Flange Army FC and in the 23rd minute the rest of the game was kind of boring but he gets a through ball into Van Persie and that is an easy easy finish for the 88 rated striker in the 21st minute to make it 1-0 to him um, he's got a pretty nice team I'm not sure if you saw it I think I may have flicked past it a bit too quick but Pew does a lovely through ball into Massey, who's got the pace, who's going to do another through ball into Zuku, who's going to take that really, really nice finish into the um, left-hand side of the net to make it one all just before half-time. However, Suarez picks the ball up again. Van Persie's going to get really, really lucky there, and he's going to do a through ball, um, gets r another lucky, but um, gets eventually finishes it in the bottom left-hand corner to make it 2-1 in the 45th minute, which is pretty annoying. To lose a goal just before half time. But in the 75th minute. Um, until the 75th minute. Nothing much happened. But I eventually do a nice through ball into Pew. Do a nice through ball into Woods. Who runs down. Cuts inside. A fake shot. Gets it onto his right foot. And that is a lovely, lovely shot. Into the bottom left hand corner. To make it 2 all in the 77th minute. I then header that out. And luckily it falls straight to one of his players. But I tackle him with Sayers. Sayers pricks up the ball. And through ball into Massey, who unluckily is quite small, so he doesn't win quite a few headers, but still is really, really nice player. But Zuku stays up front, gets a tackle there, but Bartram is going to finish that in the 83rd minute to make it 3-2. Two, two, sorry, And the game eventually finishes 3-2, and we have the win. So the first game we played with this team, the first win. So guys, this is the end of episode 11. If you uh, like the team, uh, remember to hit that like button. If you've got any suggestions, remember to put it in the comments and subscribe for more. This has been Chronic Rush HD. Until next time, adios.